Hello everyone, David Strom here to tell you how you can become master of your internet domain for less than 20 bucks a year using Google's free hosting service for your email and WordPress's nearly free blogging service. First, make sure your domain name isn't already taken. Go to GoDaddy.com and reserve the no name. Don't pay extra for email or web hosting fees. Once you've got that done, go to the domain control, and here under Name Servers, set up ns1 and ns2.wordpress.com as your name servers. Next, go to wordpress.com, where you're going to create a blog name. Here you fill out the forms, and in a matter of seconds, you have a free blog from them. Next, go to google.com a. Here you'll see there are three different editions. The standard edition is just fine. Push the Sign Up button here enter your domain name and then you'll be taken to a series of forms where you put in some basic information about your company and you create the first administrator account that you're going to use for this domain name. This is the actual email address that you're going to be using, the first email address for your domain name. Then you're going to be asked that you actually own this domain. WordPress and Google have to work together here so that you're going to get this screen to verify that you own the name and you want to choose upload an HTML file. This is where it gets a little confusing because you actually don't upload anything thanks to WordPress. You'll see here on this screen that you've got a special code number that begins with the word Google and some gobbledygook after that. Cut and paste that into your clipboard using Control C, the entire code here from the word Google to the end. Next, you then go back to WordPress and you sign up for that site and you go to, uh, as an administrator for your site, you go to Settings and then Domains and you're brought to this screen here where you're going to add a domain to your blog. So you type in the domain name that you just reserved at GoDaddy, you press Add the Domain to the Blog, and it may take a few hours before WordPress accesses your domain information from GoDaddy, so you might want to pause this video now and come back a little bit later. If all works out, you should see a screen that's asking you to pay for your for this privilege of WordPress to host your domain, which is $10 a year, or WordPress calls it 10 credits. So you just click on the button to buy that through PayPal, give it your credit card information, and accept the purchase. PayPal will then process your payment, you'll be brought back to the screen, and you'll see here that you want to go back to the settings domains and enable the Google MX entry here for your domain, which is what's showing up on here. At this point, you hit Control V and you enter the information that you had just pasted from the Google verification step. Now you have to wait for Google and WordPress to talk to each other. It should take a day or two for everyone to get into sync. Make sure you copy on a piece of paper all the various username and passwords that you've used for WordPress, GoDaddy, and Google so you can keep them all straight. If everything works, you should be able to do the following things. First, send and receive emails using Google with your new domain name. You log in to gmail.com with your domain name and password, username and password that you set up previously. And second, you can go on the web directly to your blog entry by typing in the domain name. No www is needed, and it should just automatically go to your WordPress site. Thanks for watching my video. This is David Strom. Go to my site at yourpersonalgeek.tv for more information and tips. You can also order a CD of other screencasts there as well.